guys, welcome to Close Cosplays, and this is part one of my Assassin's Creed Unity Fine Race cosplay. Now, as you can see, this does not look very much like Fine Race currently, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to dye this um, the trench coat blue, like a dark blue, and then the only other thing I have to do is this white hood black. And now, if you're thinking black, then instead of brown, I know, because I'm making my own custom, a little special touch on vine rays. I, and that's the thing, same thing I did with all of this. Usually, this would all be brown and stuff, and then, so, the gauntlets would be brown, but I made them black instead because, you know, why not? Let me Okay, so, sorry, um, basically, let's write this down, this is on a mannequin currently, and it's just standing up, but, okay, basically, here's what we're gonna do. First, I want to talk about the gauntlets, okay? Now, I made my own custom leather gauntlets, um, I'll take this one off, um, they're black, they're black leather and I put here, let me go get one. I put these little things, you like little silvery things, and then you poke them through something, and then they do that. of those. Okay? So that's how I made this. I made it two layers and to make the straps for it we took some velcro straps put a layer of hot glue around through here through here and we laid those down and then we put the next layer on and here it is. So the thing about the gauntlets is you have your choice of gauntlets. You can have like the custom ones with like the beads. You can have but your custom ones are pretty big, but they're not that big. They're kind of medium size. You can have the small ones, which would be like that big on them. Um, they're very small compared to the other ones. So, I mean, it's do they look better? It's really a matter of opinion. But they're... like that. So, really just depends on what you think. So then there's the big ones. Well, where did I put that one? Okay. There's the big one, which is over here. Where am I going? Sorry, other cosplay stuff. You can have this gauntlet, okay? Now this gauntlet goes is from the Edward Kenway Assassin's Creed Hidden Blade gauntlet. It doesn't, I mean, would it work? Yeah, but it's not the same style. It's massive, it goes up my forearm. Just couldn't even get my arm that well. Plus it doesn't cover all the way down here. So, that's all cool and stuff. So, uh, what we need to do well, what I'm going to do now is talk about the Phantom Blade. Now, I don't have the Phantom Blade done yet. I'm working on it, okay? But what I'm probably going to do is if I have any cons coming up or something where I can just use this immediately, I'm probably just going to use the Edward Kenway Blade. Now, I would use the blade with it and stuff, but I looked into it. Some cons don't, where I'm from, do not like, like even like the toy ones, and like these, because they're like a really hard plastic and stuff. They don't like those, and they usually don't let you bring them in. So I just took mine out. And the thing about this, I do not recommend it. I got it for two, two days after I pre-ordered it. It's 
like this thing, it jammed up right there. And it, then whenever I pushed it, like I took it apart and pushed it back down, all it is is literally just one spring and a locking mechanism that hooks on to this piece right here. Okay? So, I don't recommend it. It's very cheap made. It's good for looks and display, but not much else. Like, you can't, like, extend it so many times. So now, if I push it down and either gets jammed or I have to take it apart and it shoots out. Which is kind of good for the Phantom Blade, but for, like, a one-time use. So, yeah, cool. But, I'm probably just going to use it like this for now. And just attach the, um, crossbow part onto it. Okay, so here we have, like, break, I'll break down the costume, okay? We have the hood, which is signature assassin, all that. It's currently white, but it will be black, so we'll take that off. Okay, next we have, I guess, the gauntlets, which also... Holds the hidden blade, so I'll take these off. These are actually really easy to show you guys. Like, they fold out like that, and then you just. So, yeah, but anyway, take the gauntlets off. And I will. And the good thing about this video is I've only seen one other binaries cosplay, but this should be, these videos, I don't want to say they're random, but after I do a few, they should be on time, okay? So, next we have the sword. Now, this is not a pirate sword. This is one of the French styles, but it has the two thing, like two prong things. So... It's not exactly like his, but it's similar. It's really similar. Everything's the same except for that. The double thing. Yeah, so. Next, we have all the belts and stuff. The belts are... You, I use three. I use the one that came with the trench coat. Which I'm going to dye it black with the hood. Or that hood. Um... And then here we have this really big, wide belt right here that we can use just like to hold the waist in some so it doesn't like completely fall apart. That's all it's good for. Okay, so next we have this thin leather black belt. I don't think it's thin, but it's not as big as the other one. Basically, I made sure I could get one one or two size. It's too big. And on the little setting so it could hang down like that. I could slide the sword in like that. Okay? Now, we just have the jacket, this jacket, and all that. So, we have, we have the trench coat, this side, and then on the inside we have a white button down, which is going to have a bolo tie, I think that's what they're called, and then it's going to have this red sash, and if you pay attention to his costume, he does have a sash right down there, but the mannequin is kind of hard to work with, so I really couldn't put it on. So, that's all I have time for today, guys, but uh, I'll be sure to have a video up sometime within the next few weeks, okay? Thank you, and goodbye.